You serious? Hello, welcome to another episode of How To Kill Now. My name is Marcus. I'm Sean. How you doing, man, Sean? I'm good, I'm good. How's things, bro? All right, all right. And how you doing, listener? There, Don't forget, this is the show where Sean and I scour the internet for some laughs, scour the internet for some funky-ass stories, and also tell you how we've been killing time this week. Well, look, can we just be honest with the listener? There's not been much time between the last recording session and this. So I've been pretty much doing the same stuff this episode, which is watching Brother's Son, still continuing to take my time with it. And also, bro, Work's been working, you know, so I've not really had time to do anything else. Do you know it's what I mean? Good, it's a good complaint, man. It's yeah, a good yeah, complaint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even had the time to go on, yeah. go on, go on your sim racer. Not even, we haven't you know even I mean? had that time. Actually, since the last time we spoke, the only thing I have done is played UFC 5 with some friends, so that's about it. How is it? Sick. <laughs> is it? <laughs> the last time I, I, I clocked like the third one years and years ago, and it was just like stand and bang trade just yeah. just trading yeah, it was good fun is it getting to the point now where these games are looking almost as real as real life because I remember like I rem- what if I played last where footy games obviously looking really really realistic some boxing I remember, games I remember the ones I remember the, remember the times where even back in like the pros days like my dad would like walk into my room and be like who's playing I'm like <laughs> it's Provo <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like what league is that and I'm like no no it's a game he's like yeah Raw. <laughs> yeah. It's like, probably didn't say raw. He said raw. Like, bring me in, fam. Um, but yeah, like WWE was like 2K 2022, 20, whatever one came out during lockdown. That was one of the ones where I was like, raw, these wrestlers are looking real. Like you see the sweat coming off them mm-hmm. in, in this. Are you seeing that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. it's, it's, uh, like they do, they do something similar to what they used to do in uh, Fight Night where the um, replays are like slow motion. Do you remember the ones in Fight Night? It's, it's a man. Go, <laughs> And then you sound like a car, car crash. crash yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you see that with a sweat. And like, yeah. yeah, so they, they've, they've brought that in. Actually, talking about that, you know, it's been like more than a decade since the last fight night. I think fight night undisputed. Yeah. There's been no boxing games out for like 10 years, man. Yeah. There was a piece, there's a PC one that came out. I'll send it your way, actually. That's super realistic. It's got loads of um, realistic boxes in it as well. I'll send it your way, but it just never really made okay. waves because I don't think it hit console, you know? Right. Okay. But there, yeah. there is one. Yeah, go It on. comes out in October. The beta is out. It's called Undisputed. Oh, that's what came out on Steam. Oh, oh that, it's coming out on console. That, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's coming out. Yeah. So the beta's been out for for a while and then, yeah, they're, they're releasing the actual game in October this year. And so I, I started looking at that. Most people say this. It's not fight night, but you got to take what you can get because we haven't had a, a boxing game for 10 plus years so if I'm right if it is undisputed this is this has like Tyson Fury in it yeah it's got mad yeah. IP for boxers that you wouldn't really expect yeah that's the yeah man alright cool alright well let's give it a shot if you want I can um, um, bring my little Steam account over to yours and we can have a what, go you, it. Cause I, mean, I looked at it as like, we're talking now I'm opening up my Steam to see if I because I remember I remember there was a I think there was a beta that came out um, and I'm, I, I think that maybe they've closed it now to subscriptions so you probably have to, I'm guessing... Um, I might have had that beta. You might have had the beta, so I, you might still have access to it. I, I only I only cottoned on recently to this and then had a look on my mate's Xbox X to see if it was possible to download. And, and it, it, it wasn't? No, nah, no. Nah. Man. It was only um, for pre-order. All right, let's see. I'll see if it's on there. 10 years. No Ten boxing years, game. No boxing games. Come on, man. Is that because... Why do you think that is, though? Like, why don't we have a boxing game? It's so funny. Before the record today as well, Sean and I were like... Yeah, man, we won't talk about t- anything. Else. <laughs> talk about Sorry. too much gaming stuff. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, have I got it in here? I have, you know. I've got the full thing. Hey. I've got the full thing. The full release is coming out. Yeah, I had the bad debate. I had, you had Usyk on it. it had how, how long ago Fury. did you get the debate? Couple of, like, at least a couple of months back, wasn't it? T- bro, t- Are we talking about like January the 31st, 2023. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, the game's been in production for five, yeah, at man. least five years, probably longer than that, maybe seven. Six, yeah, seven. man, it's sick looking. Game. All right, brother, we'll jam it. We'll play it. Might show sick. some clips to the guys. There you go. But um, anyway, um, so Sean, footy season's upon us. The Euros are upon us. I don't want to have any conversations about how England's going to fare because I'll be honest, Sean. I just don't know. We know when it comes to football competitions, you can come in there with all the tools, mm. just like in boxing. Everybody, everybody has a plan until they get hit in the face. <laughs> so. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any strong predictions. I'm hoping that England does well. But what I do have, Sean, are some jokes. Okay. So it's time for us to step into our next section of the show, which is jokes of the week. Week, 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 week. week, week. Oh, I like the fact week, that you still add to it. Week, week, week. Yeah, um, you should yeah, have, have done that. Well. I, don't, I, don't I don't want to spoil it, but then yeah. no. Okay. So Sean sure, and I have sure, got sure. some jokes. I think we've got some regular ones and some footy ones. Should we smash all of our footy ones out of the way first then? 
Let's do it. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. I've got one. I've got one for you. An England fan walks into a bar in Germany and orders a beer. The bartender says it's 20 euros. The England fan says, 20 euros? That's more than where I'm from. Why is it so expensive? The bartender says, okay, I'll explain it. Three euros is for the beer. Three euros is to help Ukraine. Four is for assistance to European com- countries who have imposed sanctions and are not members of the EU. Four euros is in aid to the UK for successful... For successful. Four euros... <laughs> four euros in aid to the UK for successful implementations of sanctions against Russia. Three euros are sent to the Balkan countries as an aid to buy furnace coal. Finally, three euros for a gas subsidy for the EU and to fund to help maintaining sanctions. The England fan silently took out the money and gave the bartender 20 euros. The bartender took them, entered it into the cash register and gave him three euros back. The England fan said, what? You said 20 euros. I gave you 20. Why are you giving me three back? The bartender said, "Uh, we got no beer. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) I see like... (laughs) You (laughs) know Like his beer. I'll be brewing, bruv. Oh. 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 I'm going to start with a really bad one. What did you call a guy with a rubber toe? I don't know. What did you call a guy with a rubber toe? Roberto. <laughs> wait, wait for it. What did you call a guy with a rubber toe and who's lost his car? I don't know. What did you call him? Roberto Carlos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> uh, I came with a gut punch that's afterwards. The, uh, that's, that's the, that's the, the baseline. <laughs> Is it? All right. I think I've got something in there that I can get you back with. All don't right, worry. Yeah. God and the devil were having an argument. So Satan proposed a football game between heaven and hell to resolve the dispute. God, in his eternal greatness, pointed out that it wouldn't be a fair match because all the good players go to heaven. The devil smiled and replied, yeah, but we got all the refs. It's <laughs> fair play. <laughs> Yeah, we, red devil oh, we'll, we'll, joke, we'll keep it? we'll keep on that we'll keep on that same um, topic. What do you call an Englishman in the knockout stages of the Euros? I don't know. What do you call him? A referee. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're at, guys. Can I just say you know? Hey. Can I just say hey. we're out here hoping for the best, expecting the worst because yeah. we're England fans. Yeah, you go. we are, and. and I'm a Spurs fan, so it's the way that I've had to... It's my upbringing. Yes. Of being constantly is. disappointed, snatching defeat out of the jaws of victory mm. and such. Mm. So mm. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, man. That's a good that's a good little short and snappy one. Though. I like it. <laughs> Clutching victory at Bruv. Yeah. Watching victory slip through our fingers at the last minute. It's painful, though, isn't it? It is. Bro? It's painful. It is. Almost, I wish... Sometimes I wish... What we specialise in is we don't ever get battered. Like, we get painstakingly pulled apart and it all, it's like a, it's like someone pulling a plaster off really slowly. I just wish someone would come like 10 nil us. Do you know what I mean? And I'd be like, you know you what? Get, you get, got bad. You get, you get close enough. You yeah. get close enough. It's like being, it's, it's like you get close enough that you think, oh, do you know what? Yeah. It might just enough to allow yourself that little glimmer of hope before it gets snatched yeah. away from you. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I shouldn't have allowed myself to, to, yeah. to, to feel that hope. Idiot. You, you know what the first feeling is? It's when you just start thinking, you go, hmm. <laughs> oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> That's what happens. It's when you first hear it and you think it might be it might actually be coming home, you know. It might be. It might be and then it doesn't. So <laughs> An old man and his wife are in bed. After lying silently for a few minutes, the old man farts and goes, <laughs> one nil. His wife goes, What the heck are you talking about? The old man goes, I'm playing fart football. A few minutes later, the wife farts and goes, one all. After about five minutes, the old man farts again and goes, yes, two one. Furious about losing, the wife rips out a cracker and yells out, two all. The pressure is on and the old man refuses to lose. He strains incredibly hard, but instead of farting, he accidentally poops the bed. His wife hears the noise and asks, what in the world is that? The old man replies, it's a whistle for half time. Let's switch sides. (laughs) Hey. Oh, oh, the wet side of the bed, yeah, the, the warm side of the bed, isn't it? Oh. The squelchy sides. Oh, man. Horrendous. All right. <clears throat> Have you heard about the new Tottenham bra? <laughs> no, I haven't. Has a lot of support, but no cups. <laughs> 
Oh, oh man, it's so painful. <laughs> so, oh so, man. You know, the worst thing yeah. Yeah, is that it says, have you heard about the new Arsenal bra? Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't bring myself to do it because I'm like, someone's going to, someone's going to give me some receipts at some point. Yeah. I, I know. Exactly. <laughs> getting out in front of it. That's and what you got to do. You got to get out in front of it. Yeah, yeah. Fair, so. Do you know what the worst thing is? The comments on social media are going to be like, fucking Arsenal supporters. About you, you know, typical Arsenal supporter, innit? Yeah, yeah. I bet he supports <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little do they know. Yeah. You're sharing in that pain. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. I've got one for you. It's a twist on one that we do know here at the show. Okay. At the final for Euro 2024, a man takes his way to his seat right next to the pitch. He sits down, noticing that the seat next to him is empty. He leans over and asks his neighbour if someone will be sitting there. No, says the neighbour. The seat is empty. That's incredible, says the man. Who in their right mind would leave a seat like this for the final and not use it? The neighbour says, well, the seat actually belongs to me. I was supposed to come with my wife, but she passed away. This is the first final we haven't been together since we got married. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Couldn't you find someone else, like a friend or a relative or a neighbour to take her seat? The man shakes his head. Nah, they're all at the funeral. <laughs> still, a, still a still banger. A zigger. Still a absolute still a zigger. banger. <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna move I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like four or like three or four just quick fire one you happy so like in a boxing match not a haymaker you're gonna hit me with a flurry of jabs like McGuigan yes like McGuigan buddy <laughs> <laughs> right during the Euros the England team visit a German orphanage it was heartbreaking to see their sad little faces with no hope said Heinrich age six <laughs> 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 my girlfriend is leaving me because she says I'm addicted to fantasy football in my defence I have Paolo Maldini <laughs> Costa Cut <Kurt>, and Yapstam <laughs> oh on the same one we'll keep it on the same one we'll keep it on the same one my parents called a meeting with me to discuss my addiction to football manager obviously I sent my assistant <laughs> Okay. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. My partner just split up with me because they think I'm obsessed with football. I'm a bit gutted about it because we've been going out for three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it. Right, that's it. I'm out. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Door slams, in it? Door slams behind you. You uh, ready? For, you got? A, you ready for a couple more to carry right, on? Let's do it, bruv. Let's you do sure? it, man. Yeah, man. Keep me, keep me around, bruv. What do you call a boat full of polite football players? I don't know. What do you call them? A good sportsmanship. <laughs> oh, it's really bad. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> last but not least, right? right no, last but not least, you. it's been five years since my brother passed. Selfish cunt always tries to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do you remember that guy at school that would never pass? Mm -hmm. His name was Sean, man. Why are you talking about, man? <laughs> no, he used to pass. I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll name him on this show. Who, who never? There were some people that just never passed. Oh, there's two minutes school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple of greeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who were they? Who were they? The thing is, some of the people that didn't pass were legitly. They had skills. Like, yeah. Good ballers, yeah. Good ballers. Or we used to have people like man, like remember Miles? Yeah, he used to just horrible nutmegs and horrible ones. You know, there was like you're like you're like there would be like guys in our our class, and you'd be like, I think you have to go and sit down for a like. Yeah, yeah. Have to take a time out. Yeah, probably. You have to go relax after that, bro. Yeah, because we'll let you know when you're on that back. Yeah. <laughs> you know them proper slow like roll yeah. roll nutmegs yeah, yeah. where someone goes for a full swinger in it and it's not, there's nothing they can do about it and they go Aah! yeah bro you're gonna have to you might have to take the day off tomorrow you know bro yeah, 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 yeah. they one. take a sick day afterwards yeah. innit why <laughs> I just had to recover bro they got miles, recover, though. Though. yeah man right I got I got one more for you then Sean right alright I hope this is a yeah I think you'll like this one alright during a football game the coach called one of his seven year old players over and said look do you understand what cooperation is what team is playing properly? The kid nods. Do you understand what matters is not whether we win or lose, but how we play together as a team? The little boy again nodded. So, said the coach, I'm sure you know when a penalty's called, you shouldn't argue, curse or attack the ref or call him a peckerhead. Do you understand that? 
Again, the little boy nodded. He continued, and when I call you off the field so that another boy gets a chance to play, it's not good sportsmanship to call your coach a dumb arsehole, is it? Again, the little boy nodded. Good, said the coach. Now go over there and explain that all to your mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. I didn't see that one coming. Oh, we've seen it all. We've all seen it. We've all seen it. Oh, oh, yo, oh, yo, yeah. Can, I, can you just say, yeah. some, like I, I was doing, I was doing um, football coaching yeah. before. Yeah. Some like, and I think I think it's um something similar to the. Do you remember the um, like I think it was called something like dance mums. Do you know when like yeah. you know when parents take the vicariously like try and live out their dreams through their children? That shit is horrendous, man. It's almost like, and sorry if we get it's off point, bring us to, back. It's abuse to a degree. Sorry, this is it's, going from jokes. I find it <laughs> I find it scary. There's like a look a parent has in their eye, and you're like. You know, like this is part. Of, I know. Look, everyone wants well, to do they, well. They've stopped. They've stopped. Yeah, they've it, stopped it, thinking. It, 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 it um, trumps. Yeah, their care of their child. Yeah, they go absolutely wild. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like, bro. I just find it like I've seen it in football. It's wild. I've seen it like I've seen the dance, all that, all mm. the documentaries and stuff like that with the dance moms. And that. I'm just like, yo, yeah. man. I, I, I will say this. I will say this. You know why it's a kind of like to a degree, it's a tough one because if you hear a lot of, um people in sports for instance yeah. who have made it yeah. and they talk about the pressures that yeah. were put on them by yeah, their course. parents of course. there are some stories in which they were like you know th they were savage or brutal to a degree but that's what made me but the thing 100%. is yeah go on it's the same thing isn't it yeah. like pressure burst pipes pressure makes diamonds yeah it depends on the 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 child at well, this point and i think yeah um everyone has the thing is it's become the norm now so say like before in footy in english footy especially less it's no joke they used to go out on the piss and the most talented ones that had those mad genes where they could go out on the piss and survive would go out and play ball at a, at top level then we had a few players that came through that were good only because they trained so hard right or like they that was it and now everyone trains that hard so it's kind of back to a a level playing field again, if you know what I mean. Like, all, I can see. I, we don't not, get not, we don't get many players that like walk off a off a off a off a building site at twenty five and play some of the best football, one of the mm. best football teams in the whole of the world ever in existence. <laughs> they're, they're all, they're, 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 I can't believe you let me get. I can't believe you let me get away. I wasn't was listening. Go, to yeah, go, yeah. I was going to say that there are some. So I, I watched the I watched the video with Kevin Prince Boateng, who uh, used to play for Spurs, used to play for AC Milan. Yeah. Cr incredibly gifted player, probably didn't reach his pinnacle because of his um, off the field stuff. Maybe didn't um, dedicate himself as he could have. He was talking about Lionel Messi. Yeah, he was saying this Lionel Messi would like turn up, get a massage, shoot some hoops, yeah, and then would go out and absolutely just kill it. He'll come into the dressing room at half time, put his headphones on, be on his phone the whole time like the coach was talking. Yeah. And then just before he leaves, he would like lace up his boots, go onto the pitch, do one or two kick ups, absolutely destroy it. Yeah. But a lot of Donnies that were at, Do at Barcelona at the time, um, people like Usman Dembele, yeah. would copy what he did and all that happened to them, they, they all got injured yeah. constantly. Injured and shit. Sorry, but you can't be as good. I, I'd say Messi's an outlier. He he, he's is, a, he's a freak. You, you don't want to follow what he yeah, does. You want to yeah. follow what Cristiano Ronaldo does. Yeah. Blessed with less natural talent, but even at 39, is just scored 50 goals in 51 games yeah. in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Is going to go to the, the sixth Euros, but that's due to his professionalism, dedication mm. to the cause. You know, just... It, it, yeah. So there's certain people that you just don't want to follow because they're just... Yeah, not, man. Messi's just not human, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. He's not. He's not. He's a different. He's what. He's just. He's what you. I, I always people say I'm being extra. I say that's human evolution is what we're seeing right there. You're seeing human evolution. You know, like people say couldn't run faster than 100, 100 meters faster than ten seconds. When we see that happen, we've watched a piece of evolution happen right there in front of your eyes. Yeah, we've become true. faster than that. Set. Like when some when they st like, bro, someone's gonna break a hundred meters in. <clears throat> in under eight seconds maybe not in our lifetime but we're going in do you get me we're going in that direction people used to say you couldn't run a four minute mile that was outlandish but surely to say. but surely before symbol some symbiosis yeah there's got to be a limit maybe well yeah and then we and then we just like physically there must and then we just evolve even more there was always a limit there's always a limit and then you just evolve even more it's like trying to explain capitalism to a, a neanderthal mm. 
be you know, but, but could even no, but, comprehend but, but it's it. like this, right? Tax. I sorry. don't. Think, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I I don't think that. I think there's there's there's, there's going to be a point in which if just pure evolution, we, there's there's not going to be a point that like you say, yeah, but in the future we're going to be able to run 100 meters in two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe it's, just, happen, it's just so far in the future we can't comprehend it. The thing is, what I think you what I'm, you might be close to is that evolution might not be fast enough for us. And symbi- symbiosis yeah. may curtail or curb yeah. Yeah. natural evolution, which obviously and takes... Then, yeah, and then someone will go, Aha! but would you not say that is evolution in itself? Which is a good argument as well. Who would have thunk it? We started today's show, innit? Before we press record, we're like, I don't know if we're expecting much today, Sean. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to come in and pull it out of the bag and look at us. Lock us in a box, in a box so we can talk some <laughs> shit all week. 100%, man. Um, so, yeah, no, I think it's that, it's that one. I think we can't comprehend that. It's like comp- it's like comprehending building devices to fly or even wingsuits that people you know you can jump off a mountain and glide for two minutes. In- wow. Say that to a cowboy. What the f- you know what are you talking about? The only gliding I can do is when I shoot my guns at the floor and it makes me bounce up and down like that <laughs> character. <laughs> What's his name? Um, you know the cartoon character that shoots the gun. Gun. He shoots his pistols at the floor. The little cowboy. Oh, you must know who he is. Are you talking about like you, 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 Yosemite Sam or something? Yeah, 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 Yosemite Sam. Yeah, yeah. He was the first <laughs> guy that could fly. He was like the Iron Man of the Wild West because he could hover, hover by shooting his guns into the floor. Oh, snap. Okay. But that isn't real. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, no, I think, I think to go back to what you said, parent, like football parents, let's just zone in on the parents because there's other sports, football parents. I get what you're trying to do, but it's, it's scary. I find it, it scary. It, it, it can really go, it can yeah. really go, yeah, man. um, it can go both ways, can't it? It can yeah. turn someone into a world beater. And you know what's actually quite sad sometimes is that when you when you dig or you delve into the reasons behind why people are successful, a lot of the time they're, they're like, they're not happy reasons. Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan, who was quite self-motivated, but the guy can't even take a diss that was said to him at a game. Did you ever watch that? Um, I haven't. I have, but everyone tells me that I should. Bro, and it's amazing. He's, um, it's great because he can relive stories. Like, get, bro, he's the goat. Yeah, greatest of all time. But Nothing d- to d- prove. Can you? Can you? Can you see his emo- when he's talking about these stories from years he's and years? Still you, pissed. You can. You can see that emotion. Fuming. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's like fuming. It's, it's, it's what certain, certain yeah. man. Isn't it? It's what made him a great player. But it's also mm. like you see him. There's a clip in it. You see him playing money up. We call it money up. I don't know what people. Oh call yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard about this. And he's playing like. Uh, the twos against yeah. the wall or whatever they call it I can't yeah. remember Quid. and so. a security you throw money and whoever gets it closer to the yeah. wall wins yeah, yeah. he's playing it against a security guard and the security guard beats him Yeah, like clearly there's a camaraderie ship it's a home game or whatever it's a, a home security guard that rolls it and whatever yeah. mm. the security guard beats him like, yeah man I got you man and you can see in his face he's furious and he has a gambling problem like he he's, he, he, he used to hang around with a golf shark so he used to do golf gambling and stuff like that as well I think the re- only reason it's not seen as much of a problem with him is because he has infinite money, isn't it? Mm. He could go and fuck all his money up and then the new Jordan will drop and he gets money. Do you know what I mean? So he is, he's, he's, it's he not can a, gamble. It's, it's not a gambling problem up until the point where you don't have enough money to make it a yeah. problem. I don't think money's ever going to be a problem for him. His trainers are still dropping mm. all the time. Are you, you want a project? <laughs> you want a project right now? You get me? Are they? The flights. Air flights. Oh, they're flights. Sorry, Air sorry, flights, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> racing uh, but, um, but um yeah um yeah, yeah. I, I remember Rakeen oh, yeah. talking about it you yeah. know someone he's talking about the fact that like what would motivate him was the the fear of losing mm. that's not a you, you know you, you think about that you frame that you think right that's not a that's not a positive mindset it's not a in, nice but way it drove it. them to countless yeah. titles and yeah you know, so. he's of all the pundits he's not the one that i think is the easiest to sit around with and have a chirpy conversation i, 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 I feel no, like but, he's very polarizing he's funny as no fuck. no but this is the thing right the more that i've watched of roy Keane, especially with his um him and micah getting on so well that is a team that you would not have expected but the reason that it works is that roy Keane is a pantomime villain yeah he, you can tell he, he, I puts it on, he puts it on and it works well. And, and like, that's, that's his, his character that he's, and it rolls off from, you know, what he did previously where he was like the hard man of football. So I think it works for him, but then there, there are now and again where you see his vulnerable side, you see him being like true and he kind of drops that. Is it? Yeah. You kind of, yeah. he kind of drops that for a bit and then you 
kind of get to see uh, but he is funny as hell though. Yeah. and I'm sure if we told him that he heard us he'd say I'm just doing my job some of the stuff he comes out with they're like oh do you think you and Gary would be would be friends if it wasn't for football and he's like I ain't friend, I ain't friend. <laughs> Gary's not my friend now. <laughs> like that. I'm like savage love it love it's it. a bit like you and one of our other mates isn't it <laughs> yeah a little bit but some of the stuff he comes out with Maguire shocking I wouldn't even let him on the team boss home <laughs> <laughs> That's a burial, isn't it? That's a burial. <laughs> yeah, he comes out with some great ones. All right, man. Well, those have been our jokes of the week. Uh, finished off with some football chat. I think it's time for us to move on to our next part of the show, Sean, which is our stories of the week. But um, every week it's different, so it's a different vibe. Do you want me to go first? Yes. Or do you want- okay, cool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I've got to make this into of the week for you, innit? Oh, yes. Google's problems of the week. <laughs> so, right. Google's problems. Google is, I think we all know it's the biggest, one of the biggest companies in the world. One of the biggest digital things that has changed the way that we use the internet. Google search, right? We say we Google it now. It's become yeah. the, it's become the, the Rizzler of the search engine or the Hoover of the search engine. I love the Rizzler of it. You said a lot about <laughs> said a lot about us. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, it's like the Rizzler. It's, just, it's like there's the, certain the, just just Rizzler. It's like the salted <laughs> caramel pistachios. <laughs> a mint ice cream. <laughs> yeah, good. Or you know, some people call toothpaste Colgate. Or yeah. once once it comes that people are using your brand name yeah. instead of the name of, like you're you're doing yeah. something right. My dad says pass the Kleenex for tissue. Damn. Oh, that's a, that's a different one. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't ever say past the bounty. Because he's, he's, he's a bit older than that. Bounty's like, bounty's our joke, yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. it? But, uh, uh, yeah, it's past the Kleenex. Okay. What would that be weird with? What would that not work with? Could you pass the imperial leather? <laughs> could you, could you pass, pass the dove? So, pass the dove. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, do you know, this is one that I, I found out a little while back, was that um, in Brazilian, mm-hmm. Brazilian Portuguese, not Portuguese Portuguese, if they use the word copy, yeah, they use the word Xerox. What? Yeah. So they used to say, "Can oh, you can, Xerox that for can me?" Can you Xerox that? Yeah. Uh, that's wavy. It's man. gone into the. It's part of the part of the. But there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Brazilian words which are not in the uh, Portuguese Portuguese language that they've just kind of made up. Standard. Go for it. I don't know where it's come from, but it's, it's there. Let them more about that in the comments. I'm staying well out of that beef when it comes <laughs> to etymology. Right. So Google have kind of, you know, everyone's doing AI everything. So in a way that's quite annoying if I'm honest Every, as AI and everything when there isn't so they're like you know there's this camera that, that on your light that turns the light on when you walk into the room AI no it's not it's the camera sensor <laughs> yeah, they, so everyone's like they don't try to tag yeah. it on everything exactly yeah, yeah. so open AI G, chat GPT you know it's changed the world it's changed the game I've used it I don't know if you've used it but no. m- yeah, everyone yeah. It's one of I looked at that, Sora as well after you showed me is yeah, it Sora? Sora's Sora. out there as well um, but AI are now integrating AI search results as an idea so that when you search instead of using the original google ranking system which has shaped the internet for it to use ai to give you answers this is like copilot yeah it's like that but they're talking about integrating it into ai search so when you search google normally you will get ai results like an ai overview back problem is when you do things like this quickly Mm. and you pump a lot of information into an ai you can get very interesting results these (laughs) these are real results to questions. Wait, 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 wait. Is there something about glue yes. and cheese? We'll get to glue and cheese. <laughs> yes, I have seen this. <laughs> this could be the name of the episode what I'm about to say. Can cockroaches live in your penis? Is the search term. I'm out already. The AI overview, oh, the AI overview oh. from Google. Absolutely, it's totally normal too. Absolutely, it's totally normal too. Usually over the course of a year, five to 10 will crawl into your penis hole while you sleep. This is how they get the name cockroach and you won't notice a thing. No, you know how we've leaned on Google to be accurate, yeah? I'm out. <laughs> Sean's taking his headphones off. I am out. All right. Oh my days. Here's another one for you, yeah? But you know how much I hate cockroaches, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Sorry. I just... Oh, really? Too close to the bone. Bone. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's horrendous. Okay. All right. This one's right then. Smoking while pregnant is the search term. Google. Doctors recommend smoking two to three cigarettes per day during pregnancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A- sure. AI. Cheese not sticking to my pizza. 
is the search term. Google AI overview. Cheese can slide off pizza for a number of reasons, including too much sauce, too much cheese, or a thickened sauce. Here are some things you can try. Mix in sauce. Mixing cheese into the sauce helps to add moisture, which is good, right? Good for a first point. Second point, you can also add about an eighth of a cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce as it gives it more tackiness. Bro, <laughs> I just, I literally heard a, heard a headline about this over there. I was like, what? Cool. I, I like the fact that they've made sure that it's non-toxic. <laughs> just, just putting balance. I'm putting balance back into the conversation here. You get me? Bro, it's just what? I've got a few more of them. Uh, um, gay characters in Mario Kart. Yes, there are many gay characters in Mario Kart, including Birdo, a pink bow-wielding creature who's considered to be the first transgender video game character. Koopa Trooper, a trans man who was dishonorably discharged from the military. What? That's Koopa from the military. Uh, Wario, a sassy, messy, polyamorous bottom who some say is the dragon impersonator of Mario. When? I've never heard that. <laughs> oh, these backstories. I mean, there's, some, there's some receipts that are required for some of these backstories. I'm not going to lie. Waluigi, an, an ace andro non-binary person. Yoshi, a tender non-binary lesbian. <laughs> when is... Yoshi is a flipping... Yeah, but I think I think we've, we've kind of got to the point now where when it comes to uh, identity politics, yeah. it's a free-for-all. Yeah, it's a free, it's free for all. But the fact that Google's hitting this as facts: Donkey Kong, a late in life gay with a child. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you getting? It's brilliant. I've never. All I've heard Donkey Kong is go like, like I don't know, and see the little yellow t shirt and flying. Around. I don't know. I, stuff I can read into. Right. I okay. feel like you're you're not you're not kind of you're not <laughs> you're not connecting the dots. B. I'm sorry. All right. Maybe we'll move on. Maybe maybe I'm too old for this. Maybe I can't move with the times. I can't quite take it. All right. How about this for a Google search term? How many rocks shall I eat? Google. According to geologists, geolo geologist, according to geologists at UC Berkeley, you should eat at least one small rock per day. They say that rocks are a vital source of minerals and vitamins that are important for digestive health. Dr. Joseph Granger suggests that eating a serving of gravel, geodes or pebbles with each meal or hiding rocks in foods like ice cream... <laughs> Or cream up peanut butter, I recommended. This is actual. So this is why. Hey, I want to know. I want to know if the dental association also second that. <laughs> yeah, just just hide some fucking rocks in yeah. your ice cream. I mean, if I was part of the dental association, I'd be the one dentist. You know, they have like nine out of ten dentists love Colgate. I'd be the one that'd be like, no, I don't recommend it. Oh, it's all I'm about. Like, I want to <laughs> stay busy. I want to stay busy. <laughs> I don't recommend toothpaste. I recommend jam on your teeth before bed. <laughs> You get me. All of my regulars Treacle. love me. Yeah, brush yeah, yeah. Teeth, yeah. Brush your teeth with some honey. So basically, I think what we've learned is um, let's not <laughs> let's not use. Google. Sorry, I just see one more. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell me, come on. Fruit that ends with um. Google response response. According to Quora, the following fruits end with um: apple um, <laughs> banana um, strawberry um, <laughs> strawberry um, tomato um, and coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, so well, yeah. Okay. So I, I think what we've learned is that not to take everything at face value. Yeah. I would say um, maybe cross cross fact check the things that. Like, usually, can I, can I use Google to fact check. Can, can, I, can I just say? Yeah. I did see. A, I saw a, a quite funny video um, last week, which was uh, a college professor in the state somewhere, and he's got like a big whiteboard. Mm. And he's just calling out, like properly calling out all like the people in the class who have submitted work, which is blatantly copy and pasted from ChatGPT. E. Like ones that like hit this some guy's sister posted the year before, and he's like, "Did you think I wasn't going to recognize it?" <laughs> what well, a girl whose mum wrote the paper, and she and she's like, and the girl's like looking at him, she's like how did you and he's like uh, there are two there are double spacings after each period and and they're like there's certain words and she's like how he's like i've already spoken to your mum, and she's already admitted to it and oh, she, he's like he's just shit. he's just savaging people and then people like have sent him stuff in the so people have sent him stuff like emails and he's putting them up on the board and it says bruh <laughs> <laughs> Winston sitting next to me keeps and he, like doing blah and like he doesn't even know what that word means. I don't even know what the word means. Mm. And so he's just calling him out. He's like, yo, Jack, you're saying that Winston is blah. What does that even mean? And he's there like, what? Oh, oh, man. That's a and he's like, man. next time, maybe don't call me brah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds brilliant. It was great. I was just I like, that, 
Yo, we couldn't get away. We got away with some stuff uh, as, as kids uh, were probably I mean, we, I mean, pre internet, they had, I mean, uni, when I was at uni, they did have something that all of our essays went through, right? But I would say, from what I've done with ChatGPT, I've got it to write stuff for me, but I've had to go through it every time. There's always something funky in there where it's like, this doesn't make sense. So, like, I think okay. the super lazy kid is just going, like, write me a, write me a 10,000 word dissertation on Bro, photography. Super lazy kid, the guy put. He had copy and pasted what he had input into chat GPT <laughs> before it came to fucking us. <laughs> the level of laziness there is like you should you should get at least some credits for that. To be fair, it's like copying someone's work in class and also copying their name at the top of the paper as well, isn't it? You kinda <laughs> let's be honest, you might have to start again. Yeah. And when I say that, I mean the whole school. <laughs> you might have to go back to the beginning, cause bro, yeah, man. We all know there's a cheeky little oh, yeah, do you know the answer to three A? <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah, man. Um but some people at school when they're copying homework and copying stuff, they would just go like word for word, innit? Yeah, like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry, Sean, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 but yeah man so apparently Google's not a safe place for us anymore we're going to have to go back to common sense if they I think to be honest full full transparency I think that they've pulled back on this idea a bit now and when you use Google you still get the regular search results because obviously some work has to be done on AI because someone out there is going to put glue on a pizza eat rocks and try and find a banana from somewhere and eat it and that's not going to end very well and end up on Florida man, what's yeah, that? Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be Florida man of the week. That's what they're end up on. Have we just have we just created a new section of the show? Yeah, that's it. That's a new section of the show. As you know, man, every show is extremely similar when it comes to this point. What have you got on, on the cards for us, Sean? I have a story about a right now. Okay. Oh. Actually, I do have one for you before I go into that story. Really? Okay. All right. Have you heard of <laughs> the week? week have week, you heard week. of the week? Oh, yeah, I'm liking it. But yeah. this might end up being urban myths of the week. week, week. That might become a that might become a okay. section. All right. All right. And it was something that I was scrolling through some stuff previously, and I I I've stumbled back onto it, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I ever said this to you are you aware of the jolly rancher story what do you remember jolly ranchers yeah, yeah. sweet yeah like the hardball sweets from back yeah, in the day yeah. yeah you don't know this this is brilliant all right i'm gonna <laughs> and okay the reason that i brought this up was because like hey i stumbled upon it and then i was like i remember reading loads of comments for it and people are like no nah, this is this is probably not true okay but it's Gained enough not- notoriety, notoriety yeah. along um, uh, in the on the internet that I thought if you're not you haven't seen it. All right, I'm going to give you a quick re. I'm okay. going to give you a quick recap. So this guy Steve and his girlfriend they went off to college, separate colleges, right? He comes back to see her, and he was so happy to see her. He decided to give her some oral action. Yeah, okay. Done this numerous times before. Very much enjoyed it. But this time, for whatever reason, there was a bit of a fragrance that was coming from that such area that was not pleasing. Okay. Yeah. And he's been, Steve is a nice guy in it, so he didn't want to offend his missus. So he decided, whilst eating her out, that he would pop a Jolly Rancher to make it more bearable for him. Okay. Interesting choice. Okay. Yeah. Fair. I can see, I can understand it. You know, yeah. like, you know, so I'm like, okay. He accidentally, like, the Jolly Rancher, like, went in, right? So then he then had to, like, fish it out again. Fish it out is probably the wrong term, but maybe the right term. <laughs> oh, wow, I don't know. Where's this going? <laughs> he took it out. He put it back into his mouth. And he bit into what he thought was a Jolly Rancher, but what ended up being... A nodule of gonorrhea. For starters, that sounds that sounds revolting. Also, I don't know if it's true, but a nodule. The I, word I don't, of that, I a don't, nodule. I don't, I don't even know if that's a. I don't even know if that's a thing. Do you, do you want to do some fact checking? Whilst I'm telling you the rest of this, what you want me to? My Google search. You're gonna make my <laughs> Google search. <laughs> In private browser. Uh, all right, I'm gonna search it. So I'm, I'm gonna carry on the story yeah, while she's Oh man. So the oh, so there's some more. Of the, some of the wording. There's more. The blister-like structure 
Oh, I, I can't even. It's too. It's too. No, you have I, to do. It. You grim. can't stop now. Oh, was okay. it chlamydia or gonorrhea? As in the blister-like structure that gonorrhea makes, okay. filled with diseased pus, was the size of a jolly rancher, and the poor guy bit into it. He freaked out and started vomiting all over the place. He demanded to know what was going on, and it turns out she had cheated. She had cheated on him, and she noticed the strange, strange smell, but decided not to do anything about it. And. Um, Steve is probably scarred for life. Can we ask, are huh? gonorrhea nodules a thing? <laughs> Sorry, I can see your face. <laughs> In the clip, like Sorry, Sean, you need you. to look into the camera because you need to ask our audience to answer that question for us. Can you ask, ask them that, please? Look right down the barrel lens and ask that last <sighs> question. Is it is is it a real thing? Is Are gonorrhea nodules legit? Because we're not going to Google it. But we trust you to. Um, I don't know. I, it, it, this is like one of them stories where, like, I don't think it's true, but it just over the years ha- has has gained so much traction that, like, I don't know. We have to ask Steve. Do you know what, Sean? I was on Google Images when I pressed search, <laughs> and I just saw a whole load of this skin. So I just go out of that immediately. I'm not even looking fair play. At it. Blurred yeah, my yeah. eyes up with tears. Study shows that gonocal infection of, of of the gland skin is a rare local complication of gonorrhea lesions of, uh, often occur on the ventral side of the glands presenting as abscesses nodules and pustules oh pu- a pustule oh that is a horrendous because you know word. for me oh. pus, pustule p- pus is like what comes out of a spot a pustule to me is like a blob of pus that pops out I've had a juicy spot before where there's there's stuff that comes out of it in a, in, it's in it, like it, a sack it's in a sack oh. I feel like he may have had a, gonor- a sack of gonorrhea Bro, in his, oh god! But at what point are your Jolly Ranchers having the same consistency as that? Uh, you know what? <laughs> There's so many questions. You know what? It's been a, it's been a great episode of How to Kill an Hour. Um, that is a way to please end it, find though, your yeah. way to social media at How to Kill an Hour on Instagram, where someone will have the answer to that question for us. Maybe a doctor, um, or maybe Steve. I feel like that's going to come back in the show at some point. This uh, this feature. Uh, I'm at Marcus Bronze in all social medias. Like I said, we're at House Killing Hour on all social medias. Where can we find you, Sean? On. You can find me on the Baker Loo line. Okay, nice. On my nice. commute. Yeah, Sean's a train driver, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time, guys. I'm going to go and vomit. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>